Oh yeah, what up you guys? Welcome back to another one of these videos. Today, I'm gonna talk about how you can start nine ball juggling. And we just talk, kind of talk about grip. We're not talking about the juggling technique, our practices, exercises, stuff like that. Um, basically how I hold five balls in one hand. Um, if you don't know me, if you're new to this channel, my name is Lauri Koskinen. I'm a professional juggler and a juggling teacher. So this is what I do, this is what the channel is all about, so if you're interested, stick around. But, um, okay, so let's just dive right into it. So nine balls, uh, there's a few, different, few different ways, and I'm gonna show, because this is a question that I get a lot with people who are, who use big balls, and the larger balls are getting back into style again, they've been for many years. Like, and um, like if you have like, you have bigger balls, and you have super small hands like I do. I have short fingers, like uh, in a sense, compared. Um, <laughs> so I cannot really hold, like three I can hold, but four, I have to do this, like to hold it somewhere else. I can squeeze it there, but it, it makes it super, like it's very hard to throw from there. Like if I squeeze it in there so it actually stays, I have a um, complete control, I can't really throw it there really that well but so the first thing would be just to show you guys the grip so you have one ball here on your palm and this you would do pretty much any type of balls okay but this is just one grip this is the grip that I use how I would start nine balls and hold like five in one hand so you got the first one ball here we're gonna change that in the pinky and the ring finger okay I have my thumb my index finger and middle finger that's the second ball so this is the grip for two balls. Now three balls, I switch it from uh, the middle finger between my thumb and the index finger. So it switches to the side and that goes the middle finger there. And it is held, because I have a big balls here, it's actually held, the small one is only with the pinky. And then I change the ring finger here. So that makes like a triangle. I can put that in there. So now that makes a tree. And this is how I use, and I throw first, the last one here, that I just put. That is my first one to throw. Some people like to throw the one on the thumb. I don't. Like, to me, that's not secure. Uh, turn your hand this way and throw it from there. I like to throw it from here. Especially if you have more than, like, ball here. I throw from this position, I throw from there, I throw from here. So it's always, my hand position is always the same as in if I would throw here, then turn my hand this way, and then again, it's too much for me. And also doing this, throwing that, and then having this weird position without any support from this side. I don't like that. So I use this, and you, you can turn your hand this way, so you put it, turn the thumb up, you put it there, and draw one, two, three, and four. If you like that, that's not how, I don't feel so secure with that, so I don't do that. Okay, but if you have a smaller balls or you have a super big hands, you can, the fourth ball, you have two options, like these two usual ones. Obviously, people can have much more. So it would be this space between, if you raise up your ring finger, that leaves a space there, okay? And for some people, it's closer to the center, some people is more on the outside, and some people, it's just a little bit different, okay? But idea is like here, so it makes sort of like a diamond. Right? And some people, they like to switch, uh, take the third ball down a bit, and you release your middle finger to put the fourth one on top. So then that would mean you would release that, okay? So again, the third one here, so it's either you put it on the side here, or you switch this, sorry, you switch this um, between your pinky and an index finger, and then you squeeze this on top. And again, it depends on how your fingers, how big they are. You can hold with the index finger, you can hold this ball or that ball. It depends. And then you put the middle finger there. And then you throw the first leg. It's still a diamond shape and you would throw there. <sighs> For me, with these balls, it's way too... Just my fingers are too small for that. So I do, it goes on top, right? I used to start from here but that was because I had such a heavy ball. Starting from here was so hard for my wrist. And they were like super heavy balls. They were as heavy as my jogging clubs. 
and I have no idea why I practiced with those. I practiced, tried to do tricks with seven with those. It was painful. They were like proper big stage balls, like 80 millimeter stage balls filled with sand. They were like heavy duty Russian type balls. <laughs> but yeah, it was back in the days when I was a little bit, whoo -hoo. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do everything with those balls and I feel stupid about it now, but you know, when you're a kid, you don't know for better. But yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, so I use this grip now because now I have lighter balls. I can put it here and it's much more secure, especially catching because there's three spots. It sort of like makes a nest for that. So this is the third. So what if I can only hold four like this? How do I add the fifth ball? Because if you can hold four and you can release four, you can put the fifth one on top, okay? Or if you use the other one, you can put it there or you can have it here. So how do you do it without, if that one is, oh shit, sorry about that. So if the one is already loose and you cannot like turn around, how you put the fifth one in there to be able to throw it. So that is when it comes tricky. Then you're gonna do a kick up, okay? So it means you would have the one on the floor on your foot and you do like a high kick up and you can start from there. So, so you would throw that up and then you can start from that. Or like what's very popular that you don't do it like straight away, you first you go into cascade. So on the left side, on the right side, you kick it up and you go from here. And then you start the nine. Um, now that takes a little bit of practice to learn the cascade, but once you learn it, it becomes quite easy. But this is a technique for light balls, okay? I think it's for lighter balls that you can use that technique. Um, you can also start right away. You don't have to do the cascade. That you just start like this, and then the last ball is a kick up straight into hand, and then you throw. With that technique, you have to be really, really fast. So your kick up technique has to be really fast and stable. So you don't have to move your shift, like shift your weight and move your body a lot and then come back because you have eight balls in the air. If you have to do like this, a uh, slow kick up, come back and then throw, you will lose too much time. But um, if your kick up is super stable, so like this, you throw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. If you can do it really fast, like boom, boom, without moving a lot, then that's okay. Then I would recommend that. But that's why people started doing this, throwing it into cascade. So you can have a lazy kick up and now you're in a position to start juggling, okay? And when it comes to this, it takes a little bit of time, that transition, when you catch that ball and you have to throw the next one. So how you do it is first throw really high and then you start. So it's like, bam, ba 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 okay? <laughs> So you would start with a little bit like first wah, and then da, 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 you throw the rest. Now there was this silly way that I practiced before that because it looks so cool. You have one on the feet, one in the forehead, and then I would start uh, in the seven balls and then go, sorry, I would start like the seven balls. I would do six throws and then flash up in the air drop the head on my left hand, kick up the ball in my right hand, and then started juggling. But that was even more hard, but it just looked cool. But that's why I never did it on stage because it was too hard. Uh, but yeah, this is, the way, this is the way that I start, like how I hold five balls in my hand. I don't. With these balls, I don't. So that's how I do it. I have three, the fourth one is on top, and then I kick up the, eight, the ninth, and I do one, two, three is high, and then four, five, da, 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 da. So that's how I do it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have some sort of different creep that I didn't touch in here, let us know. We always want to learn some new, new cool stuff. Anyways, uh, if you want to learn uh, some exercises for nine balls and how to practice for that, definitely check out my chuckling mastery, the online chuckling course. It just, yeah, it has everything chuckling related. So definitely check that out. It's well worth the money and much, much more. So
check it out, jockeymaster.com. I'll put the link below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.